The spread of the coronavirus has brought the need for businesses' preparedness into sharp focus in the recent weeks. Organizations all over the world are turning to remote work in order to protect employee and public health while continuing to provide products and services that their customers rely on. SysTrack, which is a digital workspace monitoring solution that collects over 10,000 different data points, every 15 seconds will provide you the visibility into remote work planning. Microsoft, Citrix, and VMware all use Lakeside for planning and assistance with implementing their solutions. So in response to this global pandemic, Lakeside has decided to use SysTrack to develop a solution that will provide you a remote worker planning report, as well as a dashboard that will assist you in making business critical decisions at no charge to get you through this immediate crisis. The reports and dashboards will be 100% out of the box, with no additional configurations or setups that will be required on your part after the agent is deployed. The agent has no kernel mode components, and on average will use less than 1% of the system CPU, and anywhere between 15 to 80 megs worth of pageable memory. We have thousands of customers using our agent on hundreds of thousands of systems around the world. The agent is completely safe and will not have any impact in your environment. Using the visualizer, you'll be able to start seeing this data within 24 hours after the agent is deployed. Things that will be critical in planning remote workers is understanding your concurrency. How many users will be conducting from a remote location? What are the health impacts today of your end users? Being able to understand and compare those impacts to your remote workers. Being able to support those end users once they are remote to ensure efficient remote worker productivity is achieved. You're having infrastructure issues today. Or can your infrastructure hand additional load if you're looking to implement more virtual machines? We'll help you understand the software packages that the users are using and the types of resources that they're consuming. We'll help you understand the types of resources they'll need as a whole if you're looking to implement a VDI solution. How much resources are they going to consume? Do they need a single vCPU or multiple vCPU? Do they need 8 gig of memory or 16 gig of memory? Being able to understand what size the VMs need to be is going to be critical. Can your infrastructure support the additional workload? We will help you understand those users that are stationary with desktops. They are observed mobile. They're potentially mobile. In other words, they have a laptop, but we haven't actually seen them leave your network. These are all indicators to help understand your remote worker readiness. Those users that have a stationary desktop today, don't leave your network. They can be more challenging to turn into a remote worker. Taking all of this information and developing a persona. Understanding what are those critical applications for your users. You may not have time to deploy out all new hardware with a new image, with all the software already there. What are those critical applications that each of your users need to do their day-to-day -day job? We'll be able to start breaking that out by your individual users. Understanding those critical applications. They need Outlook. They need Chrome. They need Teams. What is it that they use on a day-to-day -day basis that are critical? Furthermore, you'll be able to use the new developed dashboard around remote work planning. Again, being able to understand what that concurrency looks like. How many users can you expect to be coming in remotely? Being able to understand those different OSs that you have in your environment. What users are using different types of hardware or virtual machines? Are they using notebooks? Is it a laptop? Being able to understand the environmental mobility habits. A lot of my users are stationary. I've got some mobile users and I have some very highly mobile users. The mobile and highly mobile users, these are going to be a lot easier, are ideal candidates for remote users. They're already moving around. Having them work from outside the network or from home is going to be relatively easy. Again, the stationary ones may be more difficult. Who are those difficult users? Who are my ideal, my potential, my potential remote sessions? Potentially, you may have some challenging users. And again, by the individual users, what are those critical applications? What is it that they absolutely have to have in order to work on a day-to-day -day basis? 
This dashboard has been completely developed specifically for this remote work use case. Being able to understand how do I get my users to work remotely? What is it that they need? Furthermore, the remote work planning report is an executive report that will further outline your plan for your users working remotely. This report will be available after seven days of collection. It will provide context behind your plan of your users working remotely. It will provide some of the same graphs and information that we used in the working dashboard. However, this report is meant to be an executive level type of a report. Here we can see the number of users by OS as well as system type. This will also show us the environmental mobility habits. What percentage of my users are stationary, mobile, and highly mobile? Moreover, this will give us a remote work readiness score. Being able to understand those users that are ready to work remote, those that are ideal, potential, potential with remote sessions, and sometimes challenging users. It will also give us the number of critical applications for each of those categories and how many users fit in each of those categories. This report will also highlight critical applications with internal application dependencies. Being able to understand those applications in your environment that are deemed as critical and what is that average latency today. We will want to monitor this moving forward with those remote workers. As if networks get saturated, that latency can spike. Also, we see critical applications with high network traffic. These are applications that consume a large amount of network bandwidth. We need to plan for these as well and understanding that these applications communicating over the network may cause disruption as it relates to saturation. Resource planning and device usage will be used to understand if we are looking at sizing new hardware, creating virtual machines, and or using solutions such as WVD from Microsoft. What types of resources do the systems consume? How much memory, how much IO, network, CPU, so we can plan appropriately. With that goes monitor configuration. Being able to understand those users that use one monitor or two monitors, and also the number of users that use high graphics consumption. And finally, also looking at the end user experience. Being able to quantify what is that end user experience today. And as we move forward with remote workers, what is that end user experience? Do they have a good, fair, poor, or excellent end user experience? Are things getting worse? And if so, what are those impact points? we'll be able to dig into that further. To get started, you can visit us on our website at lakesidesoftware.com forward slash remote dash work dash planning. Or if you have additional questions, you can contact us at salesinfo at lakesidesoftware.com. Thank you.